Caulfield hosts Metropolitan Racing here in Melbourne tomorrow. It is the Melbourne Racing Club's annual Cystic Fibrosis Race Day with the feature race being the $90,000 65 Roses Cup. We're here to try and find you a winner on RV TV and we welcome our summer tipster for uh, this little period of time. Brad Bishop joins me and Brad, the 65 Roses Cup, that's a feature race. Have you uh, found a winner in that or uh, gone somewhere else throughout the program? I've gone somewhere else uh, to start with Andrew. Tough initiation for the uh, the B set doing the tips during summer, but uh, we've uh, scoured the other races and I think we've come up with a couple that might be able to get the job done at a bit of odds. Well, let's have a look at it. You've got a, a best bet on each way bet for us and something at value, so let's look at your best bet first. Where have you gone? Well, the best bet I think might be the best, uh, the big steal. He's in race three. Uh, he was first up at Sandown on Zipping Classic Day and ran a fantastic race over 1,500. Got within uh, three lengths of under the Eiffel and I doubt any of his rivals here tomorrow uh, will be able to get within three lengths of a horse like under the Eiffel at 1,500 metres especially at uh, black type level. Rise to 2,000 metres is absolutely perfect for him. Last time he was at 2,000 he beat Tinamu who then went on to win the Warnable Cup and Golden Dubai was third and he went up to Queensland and... Uh, the northern part of New South Wales and ran fantastic races as well. So it's a fantastic form line for the big steal. Uh, the other thing in his favour is he has won at Caulfield. The only knock might be a wide draw, but if he can overcome that early on and find a nice spot, he's definitely the one to beat. And he's 460 at the moment as we record this on Friday morning. I think by the time the viewers see it, he'll probably be about 380 or $4, and I expect him to start shorter. So uh, as soon as you see this, rush to your TAB and get on. There's probably no hotter jock in Melbourne either, Brad, than Craig Newitt at the moment. He's aboard the big steel tomorrow. Any impact on your decision? Uh, Craig Newitt uh, definitely didn't turn me off. He, he's riding winners everywhere. All right, well, let's have a look at some of your each-way uh, options for tomorrow. You found one for us uh, there as well at Caulfield. Yeah, Avionics in race seven. Tried and true formula now that we've ticked over to summer. Robbie Griffiths, just get on board. He's uh, the star of the summer period and he's got a big team in there tomorrow at Caulfield. And uh, Avionics is one of his best. Uh, about, about the $6 mark at the moment. I think she'll probably start around about that so we can uh, we can invest confidently at uh, on an each way basis. Uh, two runs back have been fantastic. First up got within three and a half lengths of Hortensia which is outstanding form for this. Uh, and then second up was really close up. Missed a place but was only beaten 0.4 lengths at Mooney Valley. Uh, meets a few of the rivals from that race. They're backing up against her but she meets them better at the weights with Ashley Thompson's three kilo claim and from uh, a beautiful barrier, barrier two, uh, I think uh, she's going to get a lovely run and she won't miss each way. It's pretty compelling evidence so far. We'll wait till Monday to evaluate that. What about a roughie? We all like a roughie. Me personally does, and uh, I uh, would like to know where you found a little bit of value tomorrow. Well, I found it uh, a little bit hard coming up with one at a bit of value uh, that I thought were, confidence levels aren't all that high, but one that might run a bit of a race at $15, $16 mark is Montjeu Madame in race four. I know we're taking on our pride and joy, who's one of the shortest price favourites of the day, and probably rightly so, given the form she's in, but Montjeu Madame has had the two runs back. She's uh, looking for the 1800 now, so that'll be a benefit, and also she was a little bit unlucky not to uh, finish closer in the Donald Cup when uh, went fourth and didn't have a lot of luck in the straight there. And uh, Daryl Dodson, he's always got to be respected when he brings one to town. So I think uh, if we have a little bit each way on Montjeu, madam, in race four, we won't go too far wrong. So summing up for tomorrow at Caulfield from Brad Bishop, Brad Bishop Montjeu, madam, avionics, and of course the big still his best bet. Brad, thanks for your time and hopefully come uh, after the races tomorrow afternoon at Caulfield, we might both be back uh, next week. Hopefully that's the plan. If we get invited back, we've done a good job. Good, mate. Brad Bishop joining us here for the tips here on RVTV. Good luck with your investments.